For anchors on control nodes in Girdle, they can be used to align control nodes with their parent control node, or to resize a control node relative to its parent's control node. In the case you have a control inherited node, which is a node with a green colored icon that is a child of another control inherited node, then you will notice these green arrows when the node is selected. These arrows are anchors, and they can help with automatically positioning and or resizing child control nodes when their parent is resized. You can change the setup for anchors by either selecting the preset drop down at the top, or going to layout, changing the layout mode to anchors, and then selecting the preset from here. And if we use the center a preset, then it'll position the node into the center of its parent. Keep in mind though that for some nodes such as the color rect or other containers, by setting the anchor preset, this node might change its size to 00, so to avoid this you can always change the custom minimum size. Although this isn't needed for nodes like buttons, as they can't be a size that is too small for their text to display. Now aside from presets, we can set the anchors manually. Under the preset, change it to custom. This will then provide us three drop downs. Anchor points is the individual value for each anchor point. This is represented by the green arrows. Setting left and right to 0 will anchor the node to the left of its parent node. Node. setting them both to 1 will anchor them to the right of the parent node, and then setting the left to 0 and the right to 1 will stretch the node across the left and right sides of the parent node. And this is also the same for the top and bottom, with 0 representing the top side and 1 representing the bottom side of the parent node. Anchor offset is an additional offset in the given direction. This will affect position, then also affect the size of the node based on where the anchors are. Then for the grow direction, this is the direction that the node will place itself relative to where the anchors are. So for a centered anchor, where all the anchor points are 0.5 and there is no offset, for the horizontal grow direction, left places the node to the left of the anchor points, right places them to the right, and both centers it. Then for the vertical it's the same, with top placing the node to the top of the anchor points, bottom placing them below, and both placing them in the center. Now an additional example of using anchors is in the case you have a progress bar for the boss's health bar, then you have a label for the boss's name which you want to place above the health bar. On the label, we can either set the preset to top wide so that the label resizes to the top of the health bar, and then you can manually position the label into where you want it, or you can set the anchor preset to custom, set the anchor points to zero but with a one point zero on the right, and then set the anchor offset on the top to something like negative twenty five. Now when we resize the health bar, the label also resizes. Keep in mind that all these rules and explanations for anchors can be applied to with every green or control inherited node in Godot. And don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.